Hey guys, uh, this is denture tip number 34. And let's discuss the different types of dentures that you will be um, given a choice of as far as what you want. You should be given a choice of. Um, like you have an immediate denture, a permanent denture. Some people choose to go without the immediate denture and go right to the permanent denture, but you have to wait you know, a year or so for your bone to stop shrinking to do that. And some people don't want to go a year without any teeth, so they get what's called an immediate denture, which is what I have. I've had it for over a year and it's been the best little immediate denture. I can't complain. But here's the thing. I'm seeing a lot on TikTok where people, you know, they, they have temps that they don't hate, but they don't love them either. They're like, okay, you know, this is better than nothing. And then they go to get their permanent denture made and the doctor says, oh no, 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 we're gonna take this denture and we're gonna do a hard reline on it and it's gonna come back like new. And that's gonna be your permanent denture. I have a huge problem with this and let me explain why. There's one or two situations where this is okay. Number one, you can't afford another pair of dentures. Then I understand. Number two, your insurance will not pay for another pair of dentures. Then I understand. But the kicker here is the people that are paying for their treatment plans and are expecting a totally different denture, a lot of times they get in there and they're told, we're going to do a reline on your denture and it'll come back as your permanent. And they don't know what that means, you know. So they say, okay, all right, and they do it. But what they don't know is if they look in their paperwork, their paperwork says, charges them for two different pairs of dentures. So if you're getting a soft, re I mean a soft reline, if you're getting a hard reline that's going to turn your temps into your perms, um, look at your paperwork and make sure it says that and doesn't say that you're getting a temporary set of dentures charge and a permanent set of dentures charge. If that makes sense, I'm just saying, make sure that they don't get you on the money end and then cut corners, giving you a hard reline on your temporary denture. All right, looks like I'm out of time, so I'm gonna make a part two. Denture tip number 34, part two. We were talking about the reasons that you may not want to get your temporary denture turned into your permanent denture um, through a hard reline. Um, just to pick up where I left off, another reason you may not want to do this is um, what if you didn't like the teeth that were on your temps and plus you've been eating on these temps for a year now or however long it's been. If yours are anything like mine, my back molars are all ground down flat with the gums. So the thought of taking these teeth and Relining them and making them my perms is upsetting because it's like it's like putting flat tires on a new car. The teeth are they're junk. You've been chewing on them for a year. They're not made well. They're not supposed to be made well. Um, who in their right mind would want to take their temporaries as their perms? I can see where somebody would be upset if they're going in to get their impressions done for their permanence and they get a hard reline. I know I would not be happy at all and I would be getting another pair of dentures. And another thing, um, when you pick out your, when you start the process to make your permanent dentures, you should be able to pick out the color, shape, and size, which we all know when it comes to our temporaries, we don't really get a say-so. Maybe they'll ask you what color, but that's it. So it's kind of, you know, roulette. You never know what you're going to get um, with your temps. So it's much nicer to be able to get a second pair that you can say, I would like this shape. I would like them more round. I would like them smaller, bigger, uh, wider. You know, it's just they're cheating you a big part of the process. Actually, the fun part of the process. So advocate for yourself read the paperwork, know what you want ahead of time because you educated yourself and go in there and you tell them, I want a separate pair of dentures as my perms. You guys, immediate dentures are made extra thick on purpose. They're healing dentures. They are made 
for while you're healing. So all of that bulkiness and, you know, they go up to your nose. They're made like that on purpose. So, I mean, just why? Why? You don't want to take that into your new permanent set. 